Okay, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share these videos. And go to go and go out and film police officers. Like people don't want to film, but yeah, go to my backup channel called Omaha Cop Watch Live, and go to my Facebook page, News Now Omaha. I will put the link to those in the description. So there's nothing wrong with filming law enforcement in your area. What's wrong with filming the police? There's nothing wrong with that. You're exercising your constitutional rights. There's nothing wrong with it. There's literally nothing wrong with it, okay? So always film the police. It's a community service at this point, okay? It's a community service at this point. I was here in Lincoln, Nebraska, exercising my First Amendment rights. These police officers wanted me to get my ID for, for doing nothing wrong. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share these videos. And you'll be able to watch this encounter and uh, see how it plays out. All, re all links in the description. I'm out, guys. Peace. Bye-bye now. If I'm asking you for your name and I'm contacting you, you need to give me your information. Okay, well, you're not free to go because I didn't get your name. I'm asking you for your ID. For what crime? For what, me with that. for what crime, man? I'm asking you for your ID. No Are crime you refusing to give me your ID? I don't ask the question. so, then you can't be detained. For what crime? Oh, so I'm not detained right now? Okay, I'm leaving then. You're not free to go. People, let me talk. Five, the DHS memo. Four. All right. Three. What's up, people? Welcome back to Cameras Everywhere. Today's video comes to us from News Now Auditor Omaha Cop Block otherwise known as News Now Floyd. Watch as he's surrounded by armed bullies triggered by the principles they're sworn to defend. Then visit his channel to see the uncut live stream and give him some support. As always, links and other metadata are in the description, so please engage responsibly. Beware enemies of the people, and remember, the true test of liberty is the right to test it. What's that license plate number? WYC793. Go on somewhere. Yeah. What? Don't worry about it, man. Go on somewhere. I don't care. You walked in my shop. You want, if you feel like that, call the police, man. I'll be willing to wait here for the police. If you feel like that, call the police. Whatever, dude. You ain't shit. Go on somewhere, man. You people. I don't care. Your words don't hurt me, son. Your words don't hurt me, son. This is probably why I didn't get, get enough footage, because I'm, you know, when you're out there. Sorry, sir. Yep. Cool. See, I'm respectful to people. When you're respectful to me, I'm respectful to you. It's as simple as that. Respect goes both ways. You ask what I'm doing, I might tell you. If you come out reared and trying to do something to me, then I'm going to come out hostile. As simple as that, man. Respect goes both ways. Who's the postmaster and where's the DHS? Right here. I have a question yeah. for you. I have a question for you, ma'am. Where is the DHS memo at? I know. Department of Homeland Are memo. You recording? Yes, I am. I have the. Can you get your post? Can you get your postmaster out here? Can I get your post? Can you get your postmaster? Yeah, who wants it right here? Where's the postmaster? I need a postmaster. I need to come talk to him. I can't go in there. Do you see him right there? That's what we need right there. We need to talk to them. See, they want to call the cops. They want to call the cops, but then they want to answer no question. I asked for the postmaster and they call the cops. Mm -hmm. There's a white girl. There's the phone phone. Hi. Don't put your gloves on like you're trying to intimidate me because you don't intimidate me. Okay, I'm not here to intimidate you. I'm here to talk to you because somebody called in on you and asked what was going on. Wanted to make sure you were okay. Said you were out here doing somersaults and taking pictures of the post office. I guess name and badge number, ma'am? I'm sorry? Can I get your name and badge number? Can I get your ID, please? Uh, am I being detained? 
I have the right to ask you for your name. I'm contacting you. You have the right I to ask for your... anything you want, but I don't have to give it to you. Yes, you do. If I'm asking you for your name and I'm contacting you, you need to give me your information. Kirby, Ohio says you must have reasonable, articulable suspicion and of the I crime. And I am here on a call for service with you. And that's not, don't, it don't matter. You have that reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. To give us his information. Get your supervisor out here before you make any rational. Number. What's your name, Bass Number? Let me see your name, Bass Number, real quick. I'm, uh, Is it illegal? Is it illegal to roll on the ground? I asked for the postmaster like three times. They want to call the police instead. I'll get that phone call with that too. You're going to be on camera today, man. Oh, since I'm not being attained, I'm walking away from you. Well, you're not free to go because I didn't get your name. Uh, you don't need it, ma'am. Yes, you, I do. You I'm asking you for call it. Call your supervisor. Call your sergeant. Call give, your. Give me your ID. Call your sergeant. I am here to I'm, I'm requesting the sergeant. Call for service. When you give me your ID, I will call no, my sergeant. No, no, you will. I will call him for you then. Okay. I'll call the police if I need to. Okay. I'm requesting the sergeant here, ma'am. I'm hey, asking. And I'm requesting your ID, and you're not. You're I don't, not I, I don't with have what to. I'm, if I'm not breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law. It doesn't matter. I'm contacting you on a call for service. You are the subject of the call for service. And you're and the, you're the subject you of you're your the subject ID. of my journalism. It doesn't matter. I'm asking you for your ID. For what crime? For what, me with that. for what crime, ma'am? I'm asking you for your ID. No are crime you refusing is to give me your ID. I don't ask the question. So then you can be detained. For what crime? Oh, so I'm not detained right now. Okay, I'm leaving then. You're not free to go. What part of you're not free to go are you not understanding? You said you saw I'm not I'm not detained, but I'm not free to go either. No, you're not free to go. I'm but we can detain you if you'd like since you're refusing to give us your information. For what crime? I'm asking you for your ID. We I'm asking for what for I'm service, asking for what crime. You were out here displaying odd behavior. And Somebody called in on you and, and I'm contacting you and, and you're refusing to give me your ID. That doesn't matter, ma'am. I'm not breaking no laws though. I suggest you call your supervisor before you make any irrational decisions. You better call your supervisor. He's on the way. Did you hear him? Two minutes out. Cool. Don't touch me. Have I touched you? I'm no, I have not. I've not touched you at all. I've not put my hands on you at all. Good. So I'm, I'm not free to leave, but I'm no, not being... No, you're not. Okay. Here's the problem with public server. They think they run everything, man. I think they do. Is that supervisor right there? You know you're violating Title USC Code Title 18, right? You're supposed to only have two officers here, not three. You're intimidating and harassing me right now. You know that, right? Are you the supervisor? Nope. The supervisor was just called. He said he's two yeah, minutes he's out. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? I'm Officer Micah. Okay. Since you guys are here contacting me, I want to ask some questions. Hello. Have you been drinking today? Have you have you drunk anything today? Have you been smoking? Have you been doing anything wrong today? You got any contraband on you? No? Okay. That's good. At least you asked. What time are you clocking today, by the way? Or are you so concerned when I started working? Because you're funded by taxpayers. That's why the people must know what time you clock in today. You can call a supervisor for that. All right. I'll talk to everyone about it. Is that him right there? That's probably going to be one of them. All this for one guy with the camera, man. That is sad, dude. That is real sad. All this for one guy who's doing nothing wrong with exercising his rights. Instead of asking politely, which y'all should have did, you came out kind of, kind of aggressive towards me. Supervisor? Nope. This is the supervisor. Supervisor right here? So, I have a question for you guys. Yes, sir. Let me get your name bass number real quick. What's that? What's your name and bass number? Sergeant Price, one two eight seven. What's your name, Bass Number? Don't don't you ever Officer surround me. Don't you ever think you're gonna surround me. You understand me? Terrible, Ohio, ma'am. Reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. You have to have legal basis for a crime. Don't you surround me like that, man. There's one, two, three, four, five, five cops. 
That's not illegal, ma'am. That's freedom of movement. That's not illegal, ma'am. I don't have to. Tabby, Ohio. Federal law. So by order of the post office, you cannot be here. So right now... Can you cite that law to me? Absolutely. Right don't, now, don't, don't you, come need near go, me. you need to go. Don't come near me. I have you the right to, to be on, here. Well, hey, look. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Before... Let me talk. Before, be, Hold on. Before I talk. Before let me talk. Five, the DHS memo. Four. All right. Three. Under protest and arrest, I'm leaving. Leave. But I need the DHS memo. I'm going to come back with rest. that. For what crime? Trespassing? What crime? The DHS, this is federal. This is this is federal taxpayer property. It's nothing illegal about me filming on the post office. I have the right to be here. I have the right to be here. Nope. Okay. I I am leaving. I'm already leaving, man. I'm already leaving. You can keep going. Cause you said no, right? I'm leaving. You said no, right? You said no, right? I'm leaving, sir. I think we're too late for that. We're gonna hook you up. Trespassing? Trespassing and failed to comply. I told you to leave. You said no. I was leaving. You know, the officer told you to leave several times now. I was and guess what? I was literally leaving. I was walking yeah. back. I was literally walking back. Okay. All right, guys. If you made it to the end of the video, consider subscribing, all right? Consider subscribing to the channel, guys. Road to 100K, all right? Let's get this going. Road to 100K subscribers, all right? Now... Let's give you some updates on the case, because y'all probably going to ask for updates, right? So the update says no charges were ever filed. Disturbing the peace and failure to obey a lawful order, a lawful order wasn't filed. So disturbing the peace and failure to obey a lawful order um, wasn't filed. So they didn't file no case in that incident there. So guys, thank you for watching until the end. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and share these videos. And let's get to 100,000 subscribers. Road to 100K. The goal is to get there by the end of this year. Thank you for your time and bye-bye.